Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Storyblocks Audio. Finding the high quality music, for your logo intros, or simply the YouTube videos, can be a difficult task. Introducing, Storyblocks Audio. The best place to get all kind of music, for all your music requirements. Get unlimited downloads from studio quality audio clips, loops, music tracks, and sound effects. Every single audio is royalty free here. So you can use it for commercial, and personal projects. I am already using Storyblocks Audio, in my logo intros, short films, and YouTube videos. Click on the link in the description below, to learn more about Storyblocks Audio. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Underwater Logo. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own settings. Now, the first step is to import these files into your project. You can download them from the link in the description. Now, select this video file, and place it onto the timeline. This is a stock footage which I have downloaded from the video blocks. Let's drag it to the right, so that, we can find a starting position. I think this is what I am looking for. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then, press Ctrl, Shift D, to split the layer. Select this bottom layer, and delete it. Now go to the end frame position, and split the layer at the end as well. We just need to keep this part only. Delete the top layer. And let's drag out this layer to the right, to fill the last frame. We have just trimmed out the layer, to fit this comp time duration. Cool. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the 3D camera tracker. It is an inbuilt plugin, in After Effects CC, and above version. Apply it onto the layer and it will show up this analyzing banner. Before applying this camera tracker, make sure to change the quality to full. Else, it won't track the footage properly. 3D camera tracker, tracks the motion of the video, and try to understand the movement of the camera into the scene. Then it creates a virtual camera, so that we can place some fake objects into the same scene. This process can take a while to analyze, because it depends upon your computer configuration, and the video quality. After finishing up the analyzing, it will solve the camera. Here you will find these small dots, they are called the tracking points. After hovering on top of them, you can see the disk they are creating. In case, these trackers are not visible into your project, make sure to select the 3D camera tracker, from the effects control tab. Now choose the points where you will find, the disc is aligned perfectly to the ground. One thing to remember, do not select the trackers, on the water. As you may know, water doesn't stay still. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. It is always moving. So the tracking points will be lost. I am selecting these ground tracking point, because they are not moving. Now right click here, and choose, create null and camera. It will create a camera, and a null object into the timeline. And this null is going to stick with this position. Cool. Let's go to the project window, and add this logo file into the project. You can use any text as well. 
Let's adjust the size of the logo. I am using the size of 32%. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. We will call it logo comp. Then click on move all attributes into the new composition. Perfect, let's make this layer a 3D layer. If you don't see your switch tab here, press F4, to switch between. If your F4 key then right click here, go to the columns, and select mods, as well as, switches and the parent. Because we are going to need all of them. Now click here to make it a 3D layer. Here you will see it is now moving with our scene. Cool. Let's adjust the transform value of it. Press R, to open rotation, and then, change the X rotation value, to negative 67 degrees. Let's place it something like here. I am also going to change their, Z rotation value, so it will point towards the land. Adjust a few values to align it perfectly. Check the animation, and see, if it is moving as we need. Looks like it is floating over the sea, so let's change its position value, so that it will stick with the ground. I am using the last position value. Change the value around 350. And this is what we are looking for. You can also copy and paste the null object value, to align it perfectly. Let's place it something like here. And then change its blending mode to overlay. Cool. But it is too dark, so let's turn down the opacity. I am using the opacity value of 40%. Select your layer, and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the wave warp effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the wave height value to 2. And wave width value to 5. Let's zoom in a little, so that we can see all the detailing, of the wave warp. I am changing the wave height value to 1. To make it look a bit realistic. Perfect. Now select the layer once again, and make a duplicate of it. Select the bottom layer, and we will call it logo comp shadow. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the CC radial fast blur. Apply it onto the layer, and then, change the amount value to 60. Grab the center point, and place it on top of the layer. Cool. Now select the logo comp layer, right click on it, go to the layer styles, and select the drop shadow. Now, open this drop shadow option, and change the size value to 10. Also, change the distance value to 2. Cool. Change the preview size to fit the window properly. Let's take a look of the animation. And it is now moving with our camera. Minimize all the expanded layers, and then, turn on the motion blur, for both logo layers, and activate from here. But this logo is just too dark. I am going to keep the color, similar to these objects into the water. So select both logo layers and change the opacity value to around 23%. Cool, this looks good to me. Now right click here, and create a new solid. Let's call it letterbox. And make sure to keep the color to black. Select this layer, then go to the effects and the presets once again. Here search for the CC Jaws effect. Apply it onto the layer, and first, change the completion value to 75%. Also, change the height value to 0%. Cool. Let's select the video, and both logo layers. Make sure the camera layer is not selected. Then use the arrow up key, to align it to the center of the letterbox. Cool. RAM preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.